The M4 wired, M4 wireless and M6 all use air pressure measurements to determine the altitude. An air pressure sensor measures the current air pressure and use this to calculate the current altitude. As the air pressure changes daily depending on the weather, however, the currently measured pressure must be calculated back to the set start altitude prior to each trip. This process is known as recalibration. Further information is provided on this later on. During trips there are essentially two factors that can influence the altitude measurement. Firstly, changes to the air pressure as you cycle up and downhill and secondly, weather induced changes to the air pressure. These two influencing factors cannot be separated. This can lead to a difference between the current altitude at the start and end of a trip if the weather has changing during the trip. As these changes cannot be influenced, a slight deviation in altitude measurement must therefore be accepted. However, this deviation has nothing to do with the quality of the altitude measurement. It is solely due to the weather. We will now describe how to set the start altitudes. Two different start altitudes can be set. For example, your home start altitude and the start altitude of a holiday location or another place from which you regularly start trips. Once set, the start altitudes can be used to quickly and easily recalibrate the cycle computer before every trip. Recalibration means that the cycle computer measures the current air pressure and converts it into a current altitude. The air pressure changes daily depending on the weather. This leads to a constantly changing current altitude measurement despite your home start altitude not having changed. During recalibration the currently measured air pressure is calculated back to the set home start altitude. Following recalibration, the cycle computer now correctly displays the home start altitude as the current altitude. To set the start altitude, press and hold the set button until the settings menu opens. Use the bike or alti button to switch from total values to setting and then open the setting by pressing the set button. Use the bike or alti button to scroll to and open the start altitude. You can now choose between start altitude 1 and start altitude 2 and confirm the selection by pressing the set button. The start altitude setting opens. The digits flash and are ready to be set. Press the bike button to increase the value or the alti button to decrease it. Once the right value has been set, this can be confirmed by pressing the set button. The start altitudes are now saved. To return to the function menu, press and hold the set button for a few seconds. Menu close flashes on the display. Before starting a trip, you must do the recalibration. To do so, press and hold the ALTI button until the menu opens. Press ALTI or BIKE to scroll to start altitude 1 or start altitude 2 depending on where you want to set off from. Now press SET to confirm the desired start altitude. The start altitude is saved and displayed as the current altitude. The cycle computer is now ready for you to set off. In addition to choosing between the two start altitudes, you can also manually set the current altitude. Do this if you are not setting off from either start altitude 1 or start altitude 2. The current altitude is set in meters. If you do not know the altitude, you can alternatively use the sea level pressure entry. The relevant air pressure data can be found on various weather websites. The cycle computer can now use this information to automatically calculate and display the current altitude.